Hello and welcome to another episode of Drag Race News, Gossip and Drama. Today we're going to be talking about something slightly different. Normally we focus on the contestants of Drag Race and all of the drama and secrets that surround them, but today we're going to be focusing on the judges of RuPaul's Drag Race. Now there have been 14 seasons of Drag Race US, 3 seasons of UK, plus multiple other franchises, so there have been a lot of judges in the Drag Race universe. And there's so much hidden drama and secrets involving a lot of the Drag Race judges, so today we're going to be talking about it. Just to make it clear, this video is only going to focus on the judges that have appeared on the US version of Drag Race. So, here is a video about what happened to these Drag Race judges. Santino Rice Santino is a fashion designer who competed on the second season of Project Runway and he placed third. He also appeared on a few other shows, for example he was a judge at the 2006 Miss Universe pageant, and he made a guest appearance on America's Most Smartest Model in 2007. Santino was a judge on Drag Race from 2009 to 2014, spanning from season 1 to season 6. He also made a guest appearance on an episode of season 7. So, the question is, was Santino fired from Drag Race? It's not 100% clear why Santino left Drag Race, and it's also not clear whether he chose to leave or whether he was fired. He's never publicly confirmed why he left. However, in 2015, Santino tweeted saying, Thank you for the outpouring of concern and hashtag love. I am grateful. I manifest the change and evolution of my soul on this earth. All is well. A lot of people have taken the all is well part to mean that there was no drama or anything bad because of him leaving Drag Race, which would imply as though it was an amicable mutual decision, although this was never publicly confirmed. Santino has also, since leaving the show, has never said anything bad about the show. However, there have been a few theories as to why Santino is no longer a judge. Santino's expertise and knowledge is mostly about fashion and not so much about drag. His critiques were often harsh on the show and focused mainly on fashion and garment construction. This was fine for the first few seasons of the show, when the fashion and the outfit construction elements were more important, but as the show progressed it became more about drag and less about necessarily the fashion and the construction element, which meant that perhaps Santino was no longer the best fit as a judge because he didn't actually have huge amount of experience or knowledge about drag, it was mainly about fashion. But another reason could simply be that the show just wanted a shake-up and wanted to freshen up the panel by bringing on different people. The fact that Santino was replaced by two funny people, namely comedian Ross Matthews and TV personality Carson Kresley, may suggest that the show just wanted to focus on a slightly more comedic judging panel. Santino hasn't done a huge amount of TV work since Drag Race, but his controversial Twitter statements have come under a huge amount of scrutiny. Santino now promotes a very strict vegan diet and natural remedies, including fasting for over a hundred days, which by the way is not recommended, please do not do it. However, he's also made several controversial statements on Twitter and giving misleading information about the COVID-19 vaccination, and he is an avid anti-vaxxer. Santino tweeted statements such as this one. He said, never get the COVID vaccine, never. You can find a nurse or pharmacist to squirt it on the floor. Generations of humans before you did not need it and you do not need it. Support your immune system naturally. A lot of these statements, by the way, have been debunked, misproven and go against CDC guidelines. In April 2020, Santino said in an interview that his Twitter had been hacked 
and someone had tweeted based on his draft tweets that he'd saved on his account. However, he continued to make controversial statements on Twitter and in June 2021, one of his tweets received a misinformation label on Twitter. Santino responded by saying, you cannot cancel the truth. As of now, Santino's Twitter appears to have been suspended. It actually sort of appeared as though the show had distanced itself from Santino in recent years, especially given his controversial statements on Twitter. However, in episode 2 of season 14, Maddie Morphosis found a hat in a vat of Tic Tacs during the photo shoot challenge. When she pulled out the hat, Rue said, That is Santino's hat. He's been texting me for years about that hat. It's been in the bowl of Tic Tacs the whole time. This felt a little rehearsed, so I'm assuming this was obviously planned, but it was the first time that Santino has been mentioned on the show for years. Merle Ginsberg. Merle Ginsberg is a fashion writer and TV personality. She was a judge on the show on season one and season two. It's often been joked about on the show about what actually happened to Merle and why she is no longer on the show. For instance, this was actually the subject of an episode of season seven called Rue Hollywood Stories, Whatever Happened to Merle Ginsburg? The episode featured comedic sketches giving different people's accounts of why Merle left the show. So, why did Mel really leave the show? Although no official reason has ever been given, Michelle Visage actually explained the situation in an interview. Michelle said that she was actually supposed to be a judge herself since the start of the show. But her homophobic boss at the radio station she was working at wouldn't let her be on the show because they thought it would be a bad image for the radio station. So Merle was brought on to stand in for Michelle for the first two seasons. Apparently the plan was always that Michelle was going to come into the show once she was out of contract from the radio station and that Merle would leave the show. So although the show always makes jokes about Michelle and Merle feuding and hating each other, it actually appears there's no bad blood between them and it was simply just a contractual thing that was pre-arranged and Merle always knew she was going to be leaving the show after season two. Michelle even said in the interview that Merle is really lovely. And here's some bonus tea that comes from Merle Ginsburg. In an interview, Merle was actually asked about that strange season one hazy filter that was on the entire show. Merle actually said that she never knew anything about the filter until she watched the TV because she was never really involved in the production side of it. However, she did say that during filming, RuPaul said to the producer and the camera people, put some more stuff on that lens. The lighting sucks, pull it back. So this is basically implying that RuPaul didn't really like the way that the lighting was making her look, so that's why they put this weird filter on and it kind of became a bit of a joke about season one. Billy B. Billy B is a makeup artist who served as a guest judge regularly on seasons three and four. Billy B's critiques were often harsh and weren't very well received by the other judges, the contestants and the fan base as a whole. For example, in the season 4 episode 6 challenge, Float Your Boat, the contestants had to design their own pride float boats. Billy B actually made a joke about the contestant Jiggly Caliente and said that she could quote, barely fit in the boat. The other guest judge that episode, who is Kelly Osborne, jumped to Jiggly's defence and said, quote, How very dare you, big is beautiful. Billy B also referred to another contestant, Milan, as a, quote, dude in a dress. It's not clear why Billy B left the show. However, some people have said that Santino Rice was always supposed to be the only male judge on the show. But because Santino had scheduling conflicts with another show he was filming, Billy B was brought in just to stand in for Santino in a few episodes. 
Other people have said that because Billy B's critiques were so harsh and rude, then that's why he was removed from the show. Also, some people have said that Billy B's makeup skills weren't actually very good and he painted Michelle in one of the episodes and also Shangela for the season three finale and both of them didn't really look very good in those episodes and that could be another reason why he was let go from the show. Here's some bonus tea about Billy B. In an interview in 2011, Billy said that when Shangela was on the show, Shangela was often critiqued by Billy and the other judges for um, Shangela's makeup skills. But apparently one time Shangela said, I know you're giving me critiques, I understand them, but I need someone, please can you help me? Billy said that he felt bad because Shangela genuinely looked quite upset and wanted help, but Billy wasn't allowed to help Shangela because it would be seen as unfair to the other contestants. So Billy said a long time after the show, he was actually on a flight to New York and he saw that Shangela was on the flight. So he went up to Shangela and said it was a little bit awkward, but he wanted to sort of break the ice with Shangela and spoke to Shangela. Shangela actually said that um, she was going to New York to film a commercial for Orbitz with Manila Luzon and Carmen Carrera. Billy asked whether Shangela and the girls would be doing their own makeup and Shangela said yes. So Billy said, I'm going to come and do your makeup as a way to sort of make up for his harsh critiques to Shangela during the show. Billy said that while he was doing Shangela's makeup on the set for this Orbitz commercial, he was trying to teach Shangela how to improve her makeup and how to do things to make herself look better because he really wanted to help Shangela, not just criticise her. Matthew Anderson Matthew Anderson is a makeup artist and appeared several times on Drag Race as a judge or photographer. Matthew was actually Rue's personal makeup artist until season 9 and then he suddenly disappeared from the show during episode 1. Raven was then brought in to do RuPaul's makeup and has continued to do RuPaul's makeup even into current times. There was no official reason given for Matthew's departure from the show, but several sources have said that Matthew and Rue had a big argument on set during the filming of season 9 episode 1 and Matthew stormed off and that's why he left the show. And apparently this is why Rue's makeup looked quite rough in the episode 1 of season 9. Other sources have said that Matthew quit the show because he was having some mental health issues and needed time to get away from it and recover. In an interview, season four contestant Willem Belli actually talked about Matthew Anderson and the whole situation. Willem said that Matthew was really sick in hospital and had asked RuPaul to go visit him in hospital, but RuPaul hadn't gone to visit him. Willem said that one day he saw RuPaul on the streets in Los Angeles and stopped in his car and shouted at RuPaul and said that Matthew really wanted RuPaul to go and see him. You should go and see him in the hospital. I've seen him. Why haven't you? And apparently RuPaul told Willem to F off. Willem also implied as though RuPaul and the production company is paying for Matthew's treatment in hospital. So it's unclear exactly what the situation is now between Matthew and RuPaul, but it definitely seems as though there was some animosity and that is why Matthew is no longer on the show or involved with the show. Lucian Piani Lucian Piani is a composer and musical producer who worked on several of RuPaul's albums, including Champion and Glamazon. Lucian also appeared several times on the show as a guest judge, especially during the musical challenges. However, Lucian then fell out of favour in 2016 with the show when he started posting controversial and racist statements on Twitter. Lucian also criticised RuPaul, calling RuPaul a sham who only cares about money. 
Lucian then started posting lots of things on social media that were quite alarming and he looked very unwell and he clearly seemed to be suffering from some kind of mental health issue and he later said that he was suffering the effects of medication he had been taking. Lucian has also been arrested several times, including one time at gunpoint in 2019 for trespassing outside a bank in Los Angeles. So what is Lucian's relationship like with RuPaul now? Although we don't know the situation between RuPaul and Lucian and whether RuPaul reached out to Lucian at any point, in 2016, RuPaul tweeted asking people to have compassion, but didn't mention anyone specifically although this has been taken and it's assumed that RuPaul was referring to Lucian and Lucian's mental health issues. Lucian seemed to be getting better and posting on social media about being in recovery, but then Lucian started tweeting or posting on social media lots of very disturbing videos, uh, posting pictures of his bank account statements asking for money and just generally posting very concerning videos where his mental health did not seem to be in the best of shape. The latest post from Lucian came in on the 6th of January this year where he said, Happy belated new year, I'm alive, mania sucks, gonna get help. Lucian has in the past tweeted several messages that are similar to this about getting help. So I hope that this is a true turnaround for Lucian and that he gets the help he needs. So there you have it. There is some behind the scenes information, news, tea about the judges on RuPaul's Drag Race. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe on this video, share it, and please make sure you subscribe to my channel to help this channel grow and help me make some more Drag Race content. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video.